YouTube, welcome back to Hook with Brian. Uh, today I deleted my Predator 459. Well, I didn't delete it. I bypassed the governor on it, and fortunately, I forgot to record from the start. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did from here. So the first thing I did was take this gas tank off. You take the gas tank off by taking that screw down there. That's one screw. You take that screw off, and you take these two one and two so that's four screws you take off in total once you take it off you just pull it off you take off your gas line you just take it off pull it off uh so that give you access to everything now right here you see i took my uh air box off so i can reach in and everything i went ahead and took all this off the little throttle cable everything uh matter of fact let me show you part this is what i took off it goes right here uh i took everything off I don't need it. There was no need for it to be there. So, <clears throat> so on the Predator 212s, uh, you do the opposite. Basically, with the 212, you get a, a spring. You get this spring right here that I bought from Home Depot. And you connect it from the little governor with the rod. The little rod is called right here. And it goes to this. And this, what happens is when you put it on 212, it pulls back that way. But on the Predator 459, it needs to pull this way. So what you do is you get a spring, you put it on the arm that goes to the rod. And what I did was just I put the spring to where the where the old uh, cable tie was holding. I just put it on there to get the tension from holding it this way. And I, I ran my throttle, of course, I ran my throttle to it. I ran it through here, went through the back. And I ran it, and what I did was went back to Home Depot and got one of these little clamps right here. I drilled it on to where this is at. Now, I did take it off to see where the wires running so I wouldn't tap into no wires. Though all, all the wires are basically below this, down. But check with your own uh, Predator if you're going to do this. You take that screw off and that screw off to check. Uh, you run the throttle. And what I did was I bought a electrical wire clamp right here. And I ran my throttle cable through the hole, through the rod, ran it through here, tied it down. And as you can see, now it pulls this way. And that's pretty much it. That's all you do. If you have any questions, uh, just ask me down in the comment section and I will be responding.